Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We would like to start with a verse from the Quran. Afalam yasiru fil ardi fatakuna lahum qulubun ya'qiluna biha aw adhanun yasma'una biha fa innaha la ta'mal absar walakin ta'mal qulubu allati fis sudur. Tafsir of this verse says, Had they not traveled throughout the land so their hearts may reason and their ears may listen? Indeed, it is not the eyes that are blind, but it is the hearts in the chests that grow blind. Surah Al-Hajj, Ayat 46 This verse from the Quran suggests that true blindness isn't just physical, but a blindness of the heart, a lack of understanding and perception that comes from within. It highlights the importance of the heart in gaining true insight, far beyond just being a physical organ. What's truly fascinating is that modern science is now uncovering that the heart has its own nervous system. Research shows that the heart is more than just a blood pump. It actually has its own intelligence, often referred to as the little brain of the heart. The heart's intrinsic nervous system is capable of sending a large amount of information, affecting how we feel, think and perceive the world. In fact, it sends more signals to the brain than the brain sends to the heart. This communication between the brain and heart is key to understanding how our emotions influence our mental processes. In fact, the Quran acknowledges the heart's role in understanding and perception long before this in scientific discoveries. In Surah Al-Mu'minun, Ayat number 78, it says, it is he who has endowed you with the faculties of hearing and sight and has given you hearts to think. Scarcely do you give thanks. The Quran emphasizes that the heart is at the center of thoughts and reflection, not just a physical organ. This ties in with the scientific finding that the heart's intelligence is not just crucial for physical survival, but also for emotional and mental well-being. In 1991, Dr. Armour discovered that the heart has its own nervous system called the Intrinsic Cardiac Nervous System or heart brain which is made up of around 40,000 neurons. These neurons are similar to those present in the brain, allowing the heart to function like a mini brain. The heart communicates with the brain through the vagus nerve which sends information from the heart to the brain. Signals from the heart are sent to various parts of the brain and interestingly, the heart sends more signals to the brain than the brain sends to the heart. The research shows that methods like vagus nerve stimulation helps reduce pain by influencing brain areas involved in pain perception. This shows that the heart with its own neural network plays an important role in how the brain processes pain and emotions. In fact, the modern science has discovered that the heart's electromagnetic field, its role in emotional regulation and influence on the brain's cognitive function all validate. The importance of the heart in our overall well-being. The scientific finding mirror of the Quranic teachings about the heart's central role guiding us physically, mentally and spiritually. Aaj main aapke samne heart the second brain ke bare mein baat karna chahti hu. Matlab dil ek dusra dimag. Hum aksar kehte hain ki mere dil ko sukoon nahi, mera dil dukhta hai, mera dil rota hai, mere dil ko thandak pahunchi. Kya ye science ke hisab se sahi hai? Aaiye dekhte hain. Allah dil ke khasiyat ke baare mein bayan karte hua kehta hai ki unke aankhein andhe nahi balki unke dil andhe hain is ayat par scientific andaaz mein gaur o fikr kiya jaye to ye paya gaya ke ha dil bhi sochta hai mehsoos karta hai research ye bhi batata hai ki jaise ki aap yahan dekh sakte hain dimag mein neurons signals bhejte hain aur waise hi dil mein bhi neurons paye jate hain aur wo bhi signals bhejte hain इस बात के खोज में मॉडर्न साइंस ये भी बताता है कि दिल और दिमाग का डायरेक्ट कनेक्शन है साइंस चंद सालों पहले हमें बताता है लेकिन हमारा रब हमें 1400 साल पहले आगाह कर चुका है अल्हाम्दुलिल्लाह अल्हाम्दुलिल्लाह